Franklin and Marshall falls 17-9 to Amherst here on day one of the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark with Coach Todd Cavallero. Coach, you guys bounced back after falling behind 2-0 and ran off three straight goals. In that second quarter, what went wrong that really allowed them to pull away? Well, I think Amherst is a team, and we talked about all week, they got so much firepower uh, between the lines. They put a lot of pressure on you, clearing the ball, and uh, all the little things that we talked about, uh, certainly not giving them transition, not having failed clear opportunities, not winning face-off. So it was a combination of those three things with a high-potent offense. And it uh, seemed like they, every time we made a mistake and failed to clear the ball, they, uh, they jammed it right down our throat. And certainly in the second quarter, uh, I just never felt offensively that we were able to get into any groove. Uh, you know, it seemed like uh, they'd have the ball for three, four, five minutes at a time because our failed clears, lost, uh, lost face-offs, uh, or just uh, not great uh, turnovers at our offensive end. We never really got into a rhythm, and, uh, and they capitalized on it. And they're a great team, and we talked about it over and over again. The more mistakes you make, especially in that second quarter, uh, we gave them plenty of opportunities, and, and credit to them and, and the coaching staff, uh, they they took advantage of every one of those opportunities. As far as positives are concerned, you made a change at the faceoff X in the second half, and it ended up changing the numbers. And you guys actually won the faceoff battle in half number two. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about Luke Sleevers and? maybe what might happen moving forward? Well, we, we knew it was going to be by committee. We think the world of their face-off guys. And, and you know, we have guys that compete every day, and, and, and depending on the day, uh, the other one's better. Every day it's not the same consistent face-off guy. So we're okay going by committee. Yeah. The first two guys uh, had a shot early on and, and weren't getting it done, and uh, Daniels Lever came in and did a fantastic job. If there was one highlight, uh, I thought our, 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 he came in and, and kind of changed a little bit of the momentum, uh, tried to allow us to fight back into the game a little bit. Uh, but again, they, they took it to us early and often, and uh, we we're just trying to fight our way out at that point. The good news about this event, if you can come away with a win tomorrow, you're probably going to feel pretty good about the weekend. Absolutely. You know, it, it, you could go 0-2, you can go 2-0, you can go 1-1 and and one and one in this event. And this is our first year, so I think we're still figuring it out a little bit. Uh, you know, we ran into a buzzsaw in that second quarter and couldn't climb our way out of it. You know, you don't have time to dwell on it. I'm dwelling on it for the next 24 <laughs> hours. Uh, our team will as well a little bit. But the good thing is you get to move on and hopefully get a good taste in your mouth and learn from the first game and get better in the second game. And that's what we're hoping to do against Dennison tomorrow at 145. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming up here after a tough one and appreciate having you guys here at the Mustang Classic. Thanks so much. And I want to give a shout out to you guys. I think it's a great event. Coach Canabine does a fantastic job and all of you do a fantastic job as well. So much appreciated. Coach Todd Cavallero, I'm Glenn Clark. This is the Mustang Classic.